my name is Mike Chan. I work here at Islander Reels. I am the lead builder and repair tech here. And I'm going to show you how to service and uh, take apart and reassemble your uh, Islander steel header. So this is the Islander steel header. It is a float reel or a center pin reel. It is a single action reel going both ways. It has a, basically the only drag on this is a clicker, a little light clicker for over spooling your reel. It is used for float fishing in rivers, usually for salmon. This is the pink. This is basically just how it works here. This is a left-handed or right-handed reel, depending on which way you line the line on. And it's basically only action is a free spool lever here. And again, this goes both ways. And we're going to open it up. I like to use a large flat blade screwdriver here to not mark up the screw here. This is your retaining screw. Comes with an O-ring on the bottom of it. All right, this reel is super simple. This is your spool here, this is the gear. This is just your slight clicker here. It's very important taking this reel apart, that you keep it super straight. There should be no tension anywhere. If you have tension, stop what you're doing and reline it up. So to service this reel, you just want to do open up your Islander loop kit here. You want to check the bearings and make sure they're good. You can usually check that with your finger or you'll know by the, how your reel is spinning. Just want to clean out anything in there like that. You want to clean out all the old grease from this gear. It can attract a lot of like sand and stuff which can uh, affect the clicker on the other side. And you want to hit that with new grease. Just go all the way around. And you can leave it just like that for now. This is the frame. Get rid of the little bit of grease that will come here. Get rid of all that stuff there. Click that around to see if there's any problems with it. Get rid of all the old oil. No grease goes on the spindle, only oil. So the spindle, only oil goes on the spindle. No grease and no grease on the bearings either. It'll affect the performance of your reel for sure. To keep it free spinning, you want to use just the oil on the spindle here. So I just come in, go right around, let it drop down. Just let it, let it hang out there. That's a nice little amount there. You want to just a little bit of pooling on the bottom. And then you also want to throw a little shot of oil right on the clicker. Work that in. Next thing you want to do is throw a little, little bit of grease here. This dampens the sound and just helps any kind of wear that may happen from the sand or the grit or the dirt. All right, then you want to throw it back together. Nice and straight, super straight. You'll feel it. And you want to take your retaining screw. You can clean off any debris that's on this thing. This thing rides right on your bearing, this O-ring. It's very important. We give that a little oil too. And chuck that on there. Tighten it up. Now some people have problems with their handles squeaking on uh, their reels. So I'm going to show you how to uh, get rid of handle squeak, if that's what you have. Anytime you're doing anything with handles on an IS reel, you take it apart. You don't ever change your handles or your reels together. Just grab a random screwdriver here and just open it up. Now this is a new reel. But if it was an old reel, there might be some gunk or some salt buildup if you're using it in the salt, like some people do, which I find. Any sort of gunk and stuff can be taken away with just a little bit of uh, light grit sandpaper. You can just sand that right off. Clean that off. If that doesn't work and you put your reel back together and it still squeaks, you can add a little oil or grease. It's up to you. Put like a light line there or a dab all the way up. But that should do it if your 
reel is not bent or broken. There we go. And then just close her back up. Make sure it's working again. Getting a free spool. Beautiful. So if you did have any more questions of the things that I didn't cover here, you can always give us a call or check out your maintenance manual online if you don't have one. But you can always give us a call and we can walk through any sort of problems that I didn't cover in this video here.